rules about adding par uh, rules on a on a paragraph on how to do the style. So I'm going to show you how to do the style, just in case you wanted to put that in. So here's my here are my paragraph styles. I'm going to come into event title. I'm going to come down to where is it? Paragraph rules. Your choices are you can do a rule above the type or a rule below the type. But I'm going to say put the rule above the type. And it puts it right at the baseline. You're like, that's not above. And I say, you're right. It's not above. Come on over here to offset. The higher this number is, the higher off the baseline. This is the baseline of the type. The higher off the baseline the rule goes. I can make the rule as weighty as I would like it or as thin as I would like it. I can change the type of rule. These are all automatic rules. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. That InDesign provides. Oh, I beg your pardon. Um, I happen to be fond of these little Japanese dots. And then the thicker the rule, the wider the dots become. You'll notice that this is changing everywhere. Uh, if I was going to do this, by the way, if I was going to do this rule, I would probably add a little bit more space between so that we don't get all jammy, but I digress. I can change the color. I can change the color to anything. Now we're going to talk about adding color to the file probably on Wednesday, but for now I can keep it simple and say that I want the color the same as the text color, or I can choose a different color if I want a little highlight color. I can choose the width of the rule. I can say I want the text to be the width, the, sorry, the rule to be the width of the text. See here these two different headlines? You can have sway over that. Or if you want to set width, you can change the left indent. You can change the right indent. Watch it come in from the right hand side. I can make it higher. I can make it lower. I can even combine it with a bottom rule. I, I would never do this. I'm just saying you could do it if you wanted to. I would either do the rule above or below. I would not do both ways. And I don't think I would ever do a, a left-hand indent, but who knows? I mean, maybe you want to do something like a stylish little offset, right? Oops, sorry. A, um, I don't know, something kind of cool that looks very... Uh, very modern, right? Like a little, whoops, sorry. I made that so wide it disappeared. Yeah. There. And so that's embedded. And the nice thing about that is as I start to apply these paragraph styles, I don't have to worry, is the space from here to here, let me put this in a paragraph style so I can see this, so I never have to worry. It used to be back in the day when you did these by hand. Are they all the same width? Are they all the same uh, color? Are they all the same uh, space away from the type above it? This way, by using the embedded rule, you can have a little fun with it. Don't go too crazy, but if you wanted to use this as a way to add a little something something, uh, you could certainly do it. Now, just to completely confuse you, I did this through paragraph styles, right? I went into event title and I did this through paragraph styles. If you wanted to do this in an instance, like say the headline, where you didn't use paragraph styles, it's also available here in the paragraph menu. All the things that are available here in the regular paragraph menu are also available in paragraph styles. We're working in paragraph styles, that's why I showed it to you first. But just be aware that you can do it. If, if you have something that isn't in a paragraph style, it's basically the same idea. All right, hopefully that was helpful.